right? You're gonna be learning how to do that. So I bought three things that are completely Twixter. Um, if you don't know how to Twixter, just fucking search it up. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to um, we're gonna learn how to do the shake. I'm gonna put S underscore shake on this. Put this, put amplitude three, frequency of ten. Okay, and I would I'm gonna make this a Y shake. So I'm gonna increase this. And you want your frequency to be in like 1.6, 1.6 to 1.7 range, just like that. And you want a keyframe amplitude. Go forward like three or four frames. So one, two, three, four, and you want to just put it to zero. Um, yeah. Now you want to mess with these settings. And you want to change the seed and stuff to see what you like. Okay, here, here I have it, right here. And we're gonna duplicate this, and we're going to, we're going to move all these frames. On, the, we're gonna put all of this to zero, and we're gonna put the amplitude on one. I'm gonna drag this over like two frames, and we're gonna like increase this number here we're going to incre increase this keyframe and we're going to increase tilt shake so it tilts more like this so we're going to we're going to make this decrease this increase this and i'm going to increase the y a little bit and decrease this and what this does is it makes like a constant shake after this heavy shake and i'm going to i'm going to graph this now we're gonna go into one frame is but we're also ha we're also going to add um a build up shake so you put an adjustment layer and we do s underscore shake it's gonna be 10 it's gonna be one we're gonna put the tilt shake on this decrease this Increase keyframe amplitude for the end and then one. 